All right, guys, what's going on? We're out here in the game lands. Uh, I'm Zach, that's Taylor, and that's Matt. We are Public Whitetail. Uh, we're just a fresh new company out of the, right out of the business, man. So uh, we've been out here in the PA game lands, scouting some stuff, doing some, uh, doing some camera work. We have a camera actually about 150 yards from us. We got another one in another spot. Uh, what, season's coming up, what, a couple months? Yeah, about a month and three weeks. So it's coming up on us here. We're making sure we got the deer pattern so we know where we're going this early season and then as we go into the season we're trying to figure out when the pattern switch but we'll obviously keep you guys in mind on that as we keep and go along on this travel yeah we had some uh, pretty heavy rains a couple weeks ago so we had some sign but a lot of it was really deceiving so we wanted to make sure we came out a couple weeks later real nice day it is going to be warm so we packed plenty of water for the walk Tell us what you did with the camera 
and how you placed it and where you're aiming it at. Okay, so obviously it's not the same spot where you just saw it. Check the camera. After checking the pictures, uh, we saw that we were getting, we got good pictures, but a lot of them were face up. They're taking selfies, we're getting the back, shoulder, the butt of the deer. So even though we were getting, you know, pictures of deer, uh, we weren't getting good quality pictures of deer. So we moved it off of the trail a little bit, probably about, you know, seven, eight yards to where we can catch them going across the drainage ditch rather than actually having it looking right at it to where they're coming. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, trial and error. I mean, that was a, we had success, you know, but it wasn't the perfect, you know, million dollar footage we want. So, you know, we just got to keep on adjusting the fine tuning stuff. And so, so basically what doing. you're saying is getting out early in the year during the summer months. Oh, yeah. You have to. Getting an yeah. idea where these deer are coming from really makes a difference for us. I mean, you have to. I mean, yeah. unless you're really, really good at coming out during the season, going yeah. off the sign, off off foot yeah, and I setting up and finding it. I mean, if you're real good at that, that's great. We're obviously not. <laughs> we have to do a little, you know, preseason scouting. Yeah. But obviously, we have a lot of fun with it. Um, you know, obviously, we did not have a buck on camera, right. which yeah. doesn't mean they're not in here because we have seen some sizable tracks walking through here, so we know there is one using it. It's just a matter of what time of day is he using it? Is it where he lives or is this just a travel corridor of where he's going to bedding, he's going to food, water? You know, we still have to figure out where these bucks are and figure out where, uh, you know, they're living. Now, seeing all this beard sign through here between the camera and the prints, does that mean that they're going to be here come hunting season in the fall? It all depends, honestly. That's what the scouting yeah. is. That's what the scouting is all about. I mean, if you if you're finding the food and the water and the cover, they're not going to be going very very far. You know, just because how green it is right now. But you know, we you got to put yeah you, know, you got to put in the work to know what's going on. So you know, we're doing that. <laughs> Okay, we made it out to our uh, second area. 
We'll disclose locations after this season. Not right now, though. And I'll let Taylor tell you where we're headed into next. So we came out to this uh, next spot that we got a camera. It's actually the first spot that we ever put a camera out. We found a really, really good sign. We covered all this terrain. Um, found a nice trail coming across the stream. We got an apple field on the other side. We got a cornfield right above us. Got some nice bedding up in here. It's real thick back in the woods. So we found a great area where they're coming across the stream to put a camera. So we put it there. We're about to go down and check it out. Yeah, yeah man, we're just going to have fun with it. So, you know, stay tuned and we'll be, keep you guys updated. Stay hydrated. I got two cameras on me now. It's like uh, it's something real. Uh, best bet was for us to put, come in here and put some lock-on stands or some ladder stands, you know. But it was just uh, we weren't happy with it because we kept the kept the base of the stand angled for you guys that don't ever use climbers. It's my first year, so I'm new to it. But you no, know, Taylor was telling me you know you got to keep the base of your uh, climber angled so when you keep moving up it levels out and we you know, a couple trees you know we were either leaning or keep it. Kept it at an angle, we weren't happy with it, so you know we figured out you know the best spot you know for this area would be put to two hang on stand. So you know we'll go out here and get that all taken care of. So. Now, of course, I'll be Let's take a look at this real quick. Oh, here we go. Looking, uh, you know, I mean, that's that's a that's a good track right there. You know. Oh, that's so. That's a monster. Yeah. There's a stream literally three yards away, so we're just you know we're going there to drink and cross. So we have a camera set up back in there, so we definitely have something on footage. You know, that's like we keep saying, sign never lies. So you know. Yeah, we're hitting them from coming across the stream. We're hitting the trail right here. As you can see right down here. You know, we yeah. got this nice track. It comes through. Matt's standing. They head back on up through. And like I panned before, they're heading back up through that hollow where we have do, so, do have some acorns. But this is mainly a travel corridor, probably coming from bedding fields all the way up to that apple, apple tree. So... That's what we're going to find out on this camera. Alright everybody, we're checking the camera here. And uh... We pulled up on a nice... Looky here. Nice. Got some glare on me. Looky right there. Zoom back in again. Is that... Is that antlers? Look that right is there. antlers. Oh, oh my that god. Is that Look is a six point right there. Yeah, so that's Easy six. Oh my lord. And he's in velvet. Still, still velvet. Him. Hey, what time was he out here? He is walking through this area around, you know, 11 o'clock. So, you know, that's when most people are out of the woods. And, you know, us seeing this, we'll probably stay till one. But. 
Well, as you can see, homework pays off. And we're not even a month and a half, two months away from the season. We're seeing incredible signs. We were down here almost a month ago, and we were here two weeks prior to that. So over the last month and a half, we've done our scouting, we've walked through the area, we found signs, we reset cameras, and we are getting positive results all the way. What do you think? Yeah, uh, going off of that, I mean, after getting the trail cam bug fixed out, once we finally got a camera out there that worked, uh, we really wanted to see what was going on in this area. So we just, after getting done checking the camera, um, Zach pulled up the, the photos. We got a doe, a couple of does actually, with some fawns rolling through, which is which is good to have them around. And all soon enough, there's a buck right on camera. So we got a nice six point in nice velvet, uh, probably about out to the ears um, in width, I'd say. Yeah, 12, so yeah about 12, 12 inch 13 spread. inch spread. Still early it's season. good. Yeah. It's still got a little bit of growing, but they should be getting done here soon. But uh, it's a good sign in here. It's definitely put in this spot high up on the list of where we want to hunt come early season. Yeah. So. What did you see by the waterway when you walked oh, yeah, over the creek? Yeah, I took a couple pictures down there. We'll upload them to Facebook. Uh, I mean, this track, I mean, that's good three or four inches. So, you know, it's got to be him. You know, it could be something else just not on camera. It could be a big doe. But we're just happy that we saw, you know, a buck on camera. I mean, it's, I mean, we all went crazy. You know, oh, yeah, we all went nuts. It's, you know, That's a success to us. I mean, knowing that we yeah. got scouting going in, and boom, we got yeah. you know deer and a nice buck coming up on camera. So yeah. obviously, we'll just we're going to keep scouting, keep cameras up, keep checking them. Obviously, we'll keep you guys uh, tuned in on what's happening. So yeah. hopefully, we can bring you guys more content, more pictures. Yeah, this is all public land, so you know we're not doing anything special. You know, you guys put in the time and work. You know, you can see the results that we are nice, you know, decent six point on camera. Hopefully, come two or three months down the road, we'll. Get camera, get footage of, you know, a deer on the ground. So stay tuned. Hopefully, we're excited. Hey, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Dude, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. you gotta admit, no, I saw brown. I'm like, and then I saw that freaking dog. And I'm like, Because I don't think, I don't think it came from, I don't know where he came after. That concludes this episode of Public Whitetail, first one in a line of many.